this is a place to get my trash pump fixed. Is it a white trash pump? Well, it's got uh, some white and some red and black on it. Yeah, we fix those here. Hi, I'm Harry Stool, Stool Brothers Sewer and Septic. Okay. Stool Brothers Sewer and Septic. We deal in fecal matter. Ooh, looks like it's got a little on it. What's the matter with the pump? Is it running crappy? Well, uh, no, it runs fine. It, it just won't pump. For uh, crap! Uh, uh, yeah, it's not pumping at all, yeah. Can you fix it? Yeah, we fix around with them things here. Okay, yeah, uh, uh, what's with the pee and poo references? Just because I work with fecal matters? You know what? I bet you I can guess your astronomical sign. Oh, yeah, uh -huh, yeah, okay, what's that? I bet you you were born under the sign of feces. Oh, yeah, okay, uh, good, good one. Like, I haven't heard that one before. Are you going to fix it or not? Yeah, I'll take a look at that turd. Just bring it around back. All right, thank you, sir. All right. Uh, uh. Hey, what is that? What do you got on your hand? Yeah, the turd's on you, fella. Hey, what is that? Uh, what is this peanut butter? That turd sucker, Harry Stool, brought in this, uh, this water pump, this trash pump. It's a Honda WT30X, and it quit pumping. And... Most likely the cause is it's lost clearance between the impeller and the housing here. So I'm going to show you how to fix that. And I'm pretty sure that's the problem. So first thing we're going to do is remove this cover right here. A flapper valve. Make sure that goes back on the way it's supposed to. All right, there's the gap in between there. Now, on this pump, it says it's to be anywhere between 15 thousandths and 30 thousandths, and that feeler gauge I got shoved in there is 40 thousandths. So that's probably why this won't pump. And another thing, you don't know what they've been sucking with these pumps, so it'd be a good idea to put some gloves on before you go dealing with these pumps. All right, so what you gotta do is you gotta get a shim kit from Honda. Here's the shim kit, there's the part number. It's got three different shims in it and they're all a different thickness. So you may have to use a combination of these to close up that gap. Okay, all these water pumps work the same. So if you got one that ain't pumping, you know, you're gonna wanna check this valve, this valve that went on there, if yours has it, and you're going to check the clearance. The clearances may be different from pump to pump, but they all work the same. So what we're going to do is crack this loose. And this is the time I like to take a minute here and thank all my YouTube subscribers for subscribing to my channel, Terrell Fixes All. I want to thank y'all. And I'd like to give a special shout out to one of my good friends down in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. That's Dale at Dale Small Engine. So if you're ever down in Murfreesboro, Tennessee, look him up, go in and see him. He's a good, good, honest repairman. Hey, look at that! The floodgates is opening. Look at that! Woo! Oh my God! Oh! Look at that! We got live one in there. Look at there. There's a live one in there. Woo, look at that. Man, I know what they's eating. They's eating peanuts and corn. Yeah. All right. So, those shims go behind this impeller here. So what you do, take off this side cover here. They say to use a piece of wood. I got a brass, got a brass bar here. Put it on that impeller and give it a little tap. And this comes off, it's pretty heavy. This probably got war from sand and dirt. You know, that's like sandpaper, so it wore clearance in there. 
See? There's shims on there already from Honda. So what I'm going to do, take one of these shims, I'm going to figure out which one, put it on, put it back together, stick feeler gauge in it, make sure I got between 15 and 30 thousandths. You don't want it too tight because then it'll rub. Now that, that's no good either. So find one. They're all different thicknesses. I had pretty excessive uh, clearance there, so I'm going to go with this thick one. Oop, one of them fell off here. Woo, does that stink? Smells like a Porta John at the State Fair that got flipped over in the hurricane. Look out for that live one there. Woo, that's stinking. Man, I'd like to have that job. Put the cover on, we're gonna check it, and if clearance is good, we're gonna fill it with water, and we're gonna see if it pumps. Okay, we got water pump all back together. We got everything on. Now you gotta fill it with water. It's gotta have water. That's what lubricates that seal behind that impellent. So I'll, I'm gonna start it up and show you. You gotta have a hose running in here. again that guy can go out and suck some more septic tanks out so a couple of things I want to go over here is there's an o-ring on that cover make sure you put some uh, some Vaseline or some grease on that o-ring and another good thing to do is put some never sees on these threads because sometimes these pumps they ain't been apart in a long time and all this stuff is rusty and it makes it hard to get apart but you should have suction on here if this thing is working right. Now they make a gauge that goes in there and reads it, but I just made my own gauge. And then you seen when I stuck it on there, it had enough suction to hold that on there. So that's all there is to fixing the water pump, Honda WT30X water pump. And there's your dinner, and here's my dinner. Ha, ah, ah, ah.